To the vlog i hope that you're all safe and well and i hope that you have all got your to-do lists or your dusters and your kitchen cleaners and all your stuff at the ready to clean along with me today and get all your housework done i hope this video motivates you and gets you in the mood to want to clean up I thought that I would spice things up a little bit and include a food haul in this video and also a food recipe of what we're having for dinner and the recipe that I've used is actually one that's fine to have on Slim and World. It's free because I use beef consom as the stock rather than gravy. So I would love to know if anybody does cook that recipe. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed it. It's one of my favourite meals to have actually. I absolutely love it. But anyway, on to some cleaning. good old Mr Sheen up in the bedroom today just to try and minimise the amount of dust because obviously coming into autumn now, well it's not officially autumn until the 22nd of September, but we're coming into autumn and because the windows are going to be closed a little bit more, the place gets a little bit more dusty. So I'm going to try and nip it in the bud before it even starts. A quick vacuum around the room. I did strip the bed and change it and put it back on. I'm going to give a quick spray of my Al Haramain room fragrance, which I shared this in my previous video if you've seen it. I think they're six or seven pounds on the website, but they smell absolutely beautiful and I highly recommend them. The Night Dreams one that I've just sprayed then is one of my favourite scents. I've purchased two of those. Absolutely love them. Those drawers were desperate for a sort out. It's where I store all my camera equipment, lighting equipment, batteries, chargers. So as you can imagine, it does get quite messy in them drawers. So it was nice to give them the once over, sort them all out, put everything in the baskets where they should be. It literally didn't take me long to get the office tidy. This is the one room in the house that I actually spend the most time in and doesn't get as messy as the rest of the rooms, which is surprising because I do spend a lot of time in the office. We're now moving on to the landing and these blinds are the bane of my life. These ones, the ones downstairs in the hall and the ones in the kitchen are the only ones that we didn't change in the house for shutters and it's one of my biggest regrets so I will be swapping these out because as you can see I think it took me about 25 minutes to clean that blind. Obviously it's sped up but it did take me around 25 minutes to clean that blind doing every slat individually with the cloth with a little bit of Mr Sheen on and it's just a nightmare whereas the shutters it takes me less than five minutes to clean all of the shutters so I will be getting those swapped out as soon as I can. We was looking at having it done before Covid happened and then obviously we had Covid so we couldn't have any workmen in our homes or anything like that so it's just a case of waiting but it is on my to-do list to get them done. I absolutely love this little telescopic duster, it's great for getting rid of the cobwebs and making sure the picture rails are nice and tidy on the bits that you can't reach. One pound from Poundland, highly recommend it. I 
I didn't clean the bathroom this morning because I cleaned it when I got out of the shower so it didn't need doing. So we're now downstairs working our way into the utility. For the first time ever I've actually introduced a little tiny bit of autumnal decorations into my home this year. I've never decorated before. I know it's a very American thing to do but I just love the idea of it. As you all know I love autumn and winter. They're my favourite seasons. So to be able to decorate for them I think it's going to be nice, it's exciting, it can all be officially done around the 22nd of September, but it's just something different. Little pieces like the little pumpkins that you can see on the sides, the larger pink one is a white one from Hobbycraft, but I just painted it pink so it was more matching the flowers and the candle and the dark red pumpkin, and I just think it looks absolutely lovely. So yeah, this is the first time. I would love to know if you decorate your house for autumn. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know I'm not the only one. Even if you just put a little pumpkin out, or you know change some flowers out that are a little bit autumnal or buy some autumn candles it's still classed as being decorated for autumn in my opinion so yeah i'd love to know if you do the same and i'm not the only one dishes and then Ollie had his breakfast before he left for work and left his bowl in the sink so I just popped that into the dishwasher. I do like to just wash the dishes sometimes rather than putting them all into the dishwasher and letting the dishwasher do it especially when it's being emptied and it's nice and clean. I just prefer to wash the dishes. I don't know whether you're the same but I just feel better knowing that I've washed the dishes, the dishwasher is nice and clean, all the dishes are put away and that's it until either lunchtime or tea time. But I did put Lee's breakfast dish into the dishwasher so it was no longer nice and clean. And I do apologise for how many times I've just said dishwasher and dishes. It will be said no more throughout this video, I promise. I would include our food shop so you can get some meal ideas for what to cook through the week. So I'll just run through and show you what I'm going to cook this week. Mainly it's fruit and salad in our house. We love fruit, salad and vegetables so they basically take up the majority of our meals as you're going to see but I've got a large bag of spinach, celery and leek. Leek goes into soups, celery goes on salads, uh, some baked potatoes, blueberries, lots of kiwis, tomatoes, strawberries, broccoli, cucumber, apples, oranges, because I love oranges, bananas, some Vivaldi potatoes, which are going to be the meal for tonight, which I'll show you. i got carrots, watermelon, and that's it for fruit and onions. I don't know whether I said them. Then at the back, I've just got red label tea bags, some porridge, McCoy's crisps, get two bags of them, I don't eat them there for Lee and Lee. The banana and custard yogurts are mine, some beef stock cubes, some soy sauce, two loaves, the luxury coleslaw, I get a big one of them because we all love a nice big dollop of coleslaw. 
some eggs, some tortilla wraps, Ollie's spicy chicken pizza, which he absolutely loves, a packet of ham, a packet of bacon. This is diced beef. That's chicken breasts. That's a joint of beef. They're our little mini chicken goujon fillets. And this is basically the meals that I'll cook for this week. And that will be, these are for chicken and salad wraps, which are absolutely gorgeous with a little bit of sweet chili or a little bit of mayonnaise or coleslaw in them. They're really, really nice. Omelettes, I'll do ham omelettes with a little bit of onion and bean sprouts, but I don't put bean sprouts on the food order because usually you only get a day or two on them and I won't do a chicken foo young meal until maybe the end of the week, so I'll just pick them up fresh. And then we've got some beef for beef stew or casserole that can just go into the slow cooker and cook all day. And then my joint of beef, I'm going to do the Vivaldi potatoes, the salad potatoes, but they're absolutely gorgeous. I do carrots and onion, maybe a little bit of celery and leek in the slow cooker. That's what I'm going to cook tonight and I'm going to include it in this video because one of you might like to cook it and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now that it's getting a little bit autumnal, I'm all about the slow cooker recipes. I absolutely love them. I've got two packets of chicken because one's for chicken foo young. And then on the other one, I'll do a butter chicken in the slow cooker, which again, I'll show you in another video. But yeah, that's my food order. We've got an extra lean, small roast beef roasting joint, some Vivaldi potatoes, carrots, onions, Oxo beef stock cubes, some beef consomme. As you know, I love to put a tin of beef consomme in. I just make me gravy from it and I think it's so tasty. And onions. We're going to pop it all into the slow cooker and leave it for five hours. So it will be perfect at six o'clock because it's currently 20 to one. So I'm going to get this on the go now and it'll be perfect for tea time. this recipe in the description box down below also for anybody who wants to pick the items up while they're in Sainsbury's doing the shopping so you can just screen capture it or screen grab it from the description and then it's in your phone in your photographs that's usually what I do if I see a recipe that I like I'll take a photograph of it and when I'm in Sainsbury's I'll pick them all out but it's pretty straightforward it's just onions carrots and again it's as many as you want we love carrots in our house so we put about four or five in one onion two oxo stock cubes a little sprinkle of some garlic granules your roast beef joint depending on how big and how many of you are cooking it and then a tin of beef consomme for it to stew in so that it doesn't go too dry and the beef is absolutely beautiful as you're going to see I don't know whether you're anything like me, but I do not like potatoes that I've cooked in the slow cooker. I just think they get like a hard crispy shell on them and I don't like it. So I'll cook the potatoes separate and then I'll add them to the slow cooker when there's an hour left. And that's what we're having for tea tonight. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're going to try this recipe and let me know if you enjoyed it. It's absolutely beautiful. I highly recommend it. It takes five minutes to prepare. You can go to work, leave it on the slow cooker on low. It doesn't have to be on, on high. I just have it on high when I'm at home. But if I was in work, I would pop it on low and I would leave it on all day. And obviously I would do the potatoes when I got home. But yeah, that's my Roast beef.
when Oscar wants to live under your dining table or in the corner where your internet is and you're on your own, you can't get rid of Oscar, you don't want to suck him up with a hoover because that would be cruel because by the looks of him he has 17 children at home and <laughs> a huge family to feed, he's big, he looks like he's got boxing gloves on so I had to leave him in the corner, yeah? behind there for Lee to come home to get him and luckily enough Oscar was still behind the mirror column with the white hydrangeas on when Lee got in and he safely popped him in the garden. And that's the end of my all day clean with me. I finished at around 20 past four, maybe even half past four. And I'd started at maybe about quarter past ten this morning, so it was an all-day clean. I really hope that this video has given you some inspiration and you cleaned along with me. I hope you'd have me on the telly or on your phone or your iPad. I just hope it inspired you and motivated you. If you got all the way to the end, leave me a comment down below and just say, Oscar, and I will know you watched it all the way to the end where the spider was. And also let me know if you enjoyed seeing my food haul included and recipes. I'm happy to include them in a majority of my cleaning videos. I just think it adds a little bit more, doesn't it? And it's a little bit different. And we all love to be inspired by what people cook. I mean, we do it in work all the time. Why are you cooking for tea? Why are you cooking for tea? Because we get bored of cooking the same thing. So I would love it if you could leave me some of your slow cooker recipes in the comments down below and give me some inspiration for what to cook. So thank you everyone for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Take care everyone.